Hi Aquarius, this is your September 5th or September 11th weekly tarot reading. I do five separate spreads in my weekly readings. We'll have a spread on new love, a separate spread on love and an existing relationship or marriage. I'll do an X spread. We'll talk about your work, your business and your finances and we'll see what you're not expecting to happen this week. Please like, share and subscribe to support this channel. This first spread is a new love this week. We have the Nine of Swords, clarified by the Two of Swords. Uh, we have the Ace of Swords. We have the King of Pentacles, clarified by the Two of Cups. In the potential outcome, we have the Ten of Pentacles with the Queen of Swords and the Knights of Cups. And we also have the Ace of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, or a uh, Water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. You're dealing with the King of Pentacles right there in the middle, clarified by the Two of Cups. It could be an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. If they're not an Earth sign, they may have a lot of Earth in their chart, or they could be somebody who is grounded, a very established individual. They could be wealthy. They could be working for a financial financial institution, they could be an entrepreneur, right? Then that's the person coming into your life. What I notice right away, what I notice right away, two things actually. We have uh, the King of Pentacles and the Queen of Swords in the middle of the potential outcome. The Queen of Swords, that would be you, right? And uh, we have two aces on the table, the Ace of Swords and uh, the Ace of Pentacles, right? So a King of Pentacles and uh, the Ace of Pentacles. Uh, queen, the Queen of Swords and the Ace of Swords. You, you get my point, right? So <laughs> those Aces belong to you. So both of you really want this. Or at some point during this week, you'll be getting on the same page that you really guys want it. And whenever a King and a Queen come out in the same spread, even you guys are, you know, obviously off-suited, uh, that still is a good sign. That means you're still vibing on a similar level, a King and a Queen level. That means both of you are two mature individuals and you could be 25, 45, 55. That means both of you are ready for a commitment, both of you are ready for something serious. Right? Uh, the King of Pentacles is qualified by the Two of Cups. The Two of Cups is a card of a soulmate connection. It's a card of uh, unconditional love. There is two people in the Two of Cups and I think that's you and them. <laughs> it's a card of, um, you know, when two people feel the same way towards one another. There is one twist to the story. Of course there is, right, Aquarius? We start off with the Nine of Swords, but it's clarified by the Two of Swords. The Nine of Swords is a card of somebody who is stressed out, somebody who can't sleep at night, somebody who has got anxieties. Um, and uh, that could be interpreted in so many different ways, especially when it comes to this particular situation. Perhaps you have fallen for this person really hard. Perhaps you've never fallen for anybody so hard and you're like, what's going on with me? What's happening? I've never felt this way before, right? For others of you, perhaps this is the way you're feeling right now before this King of Pentacles shows up in your life and perhaps you're like, oh, I'll never meet the right person, you lost faith in love, you lost faith in people. Something is, you know, bothering you with that Nine of Swords, right? But the good news, it's coming to an end. First of all, the Nine of Swords is clarified by the Two of Swords. And in, in this case, the Two of Swords, I think, says no more. So no more the Nine of Swords energy. No more sleepless nights, no more uh, anxieties, no more uh, just going crazy about something or someone. All of this is because uh, you guys are going to get on the same page. If this is somebody you met um, last week or a couple of weeks ago and you didn't know how they feel about you, yeah, they love you. If this is a brand new person, perhaps, like I said, you're falling for them hard, <laughs> right? But again, you have nothing to worry about, especially when it comes to this particular individual. This, this person loves you. This person wants to get the show on the road with you. They're coming in with the Ace of Pentacles, right? And uh, you're coming in with the Ace of Swords. Right? Both of you are going to be getting on the same page this week. Or if this is a brand new person, you'll be getting on the same page very quickly. So don't worry, don't be stressing. It's going to be alright, Aquarius. Speaking of, of it being alright, in the potential outcome besides the Queen of Swords, which is your card, we also have the Knight of Cups to the right from the uh, Queen of Swords. It could be a Water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, but in this case, I think it's all about love. The Knight of Cups is the knight in the shining armor. It's the most romantic knight out of all four knights. And uh, frankly, it's love. Pure, genuine, authentic love. <laughs> right? And the Ten of Pentacles to the left from the Queen of Swords is a, a commitment or marriage card. Very, very solid. That kind of makes sense with the King of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles 
being here, so now we get the Ten of Pentacles, right? It's a very long-term type of a deal, very stable, grounded, financially abundant. This is when people buy real estate together, they grow old together, have children together, and if that is still an option for them. So I really like this. Like I said, we have a king and a queen and we have um, correlating aces on the table. So whatever is going on with that nine of swords that we were just talking about, where you're stressed out about something or you're not sure how they feel, uh, or you're just, uh, you know, perhaps a little depressed because no love in your life, this week things will turn around for you. This person will very quickly show you that they're in it to win it, they're the real deal, they love you, they bring that Ace of Pentacles to the table, there's also a lot of love with the Knight of Cups, and there's definitely a commitment potential with that Ten of Pentacles. I'm not even going to do an extended for you, Aquarius, because with cards like that, I, I think you guys can make it happen. Yes, you definitely can. <laughs> All right? Really happy for you. Congratulations. Aquarius, if you are already married or if you're in a relationship, this spread is for you. We have the Ten of Swords, clarified by the Seven of Cups. We have the Wheel of Fortune. Um, we have uh, the Star, clarified by the, by the Sun. And we also have the Six of Swords on the bottom of the deck. Well, we got you in this reading, right? The Star, that is your major arcana card. And you're clarified by the Sun. You could be dealing with the Leo. The Sun is the personal Leo card. Uh, the Sun is also a card of clarity and it's the happiest card in the deck. Right, so I think that's what's coming to uh, towards you, <laughs> happiness and clarity. And I'm not surprised because we have the Ten of Swords clarified by the Seven of Cups in the beginning. The Seven of Cups is either a card of a multiple choice, or this is a card of a confusion, unclarity, uncertainty. So, and uh, since the Ten of Swords is a card of a, an ending, an abrupt ending, that's what's coming to an end. Confusion or uncertainty, or if you're choosing among multiple options, then uh, you will know what, uh, what you want. And it could be about anything. Right? It could be you deciding between two uh, washing machines, two refrigerators, uh, two different houses, two different apartments, two different vacation destinations, right? Uh, perhaps something is on hold because um, you filed for some kind of paperwork, say you want to re renovate your house and you have to file for permit with your city, with your government. <clears throat> and now the... the um, now the, the answer comes and the answer is yes, you can go ahead. Speaking of going ahead, we have the Wheel of Fortune right there in the middle and the Six of Swords on the bottom of the deck. Both cards are talking about the same thing, right? Forward movement. So the Seven of Cups comes to an end and now you can proceed, now you can move forward, now you know what you want, now you have the answer, now you have chosen one of the options. So you know what you want and you're moving forward. So yeah, the star is your card, the sun, like I said, is a card of clarity, and it's the happiest card in the deck. So, like I said, there's just so many variants. What's important is that there's definitely a progress, there's definitely a forward movement this week. Alright? Cool. Let's see if anybody comes back from the past for you, Aquarius, this week. Keep in mind, it could be somebody from a couple of months ago, a year ago, or a couple of years ago, so it doesn't have to be the most recent X. Also, keep in mind, we have a whole bunch of planets in retrograde this week, um, including Mercury. <laughs> All right, so this is when more Xs than usual could potentially resurface. So here's one of them. We have uh, Temperance, qualified by the Six of Cups. We have the Hierophant. We have the Knight of Swords, clarified by the Ace of Pentacles and the Two of Cups, and we have the star on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a fellow air sign, uh, Gemini, Libra, or another Aquarius, we also have um, Sagittarius and uh, Taurus on the table, right? So yeah, what, what, what I've noticed is that uh, we have Temperance, the first card I came out, it could be a card of Patience, right? Um, it could be a card of Healing, and uh, since this is the first card that came out, I think this is what's happening right now, or prior to this week. And uh, all of a sudden, this person will have uh, uh, an urge and this need to rush back into your life and uh, offer you a reconciliation. Perhaps it's those six planets <laughs> in retrograde kicking in, and Mercury is going retrograde on the ninth, and perhaps that was the last <laughs> planet that was needed. Well, uh, jokes aside, yes, this person is coming back fast. Anyway, temperance, like I said, it could be uh, healing, patience, so this is what they want. They, they want to 
uh, bury the hatchet with you, they want to get back together with you. The Six of Cups clarifying temperance is a card of a soulmate connection. And at the same time, it's a card of somebody coming back from the past. The next card over is the Hierophant. You could be dealing with a Taurus. Or the Hierophant is what they want with you, or want back with you. It's a card of something traditional, like a committed relationship or marriage, right? So here they come fast, the Knight of Swords. I think that's them rushing back in. It's the fastest knight out of all four knights. It could also be um, a fellow air sign, uh, Gemini, Libra, or another Aquarius. And uh, they are going to make you a very serious offer with that Ace of Pentacles and the Two of Cups. Right? The Ace of Pentacles often comes through as a proposal, by the way. And you'll be surprised, Aquarius, how many times I've seen things like this. When people think that the only way to get somebody back is to propose to them, and it often works. Or this person simply realizes that in order for you to even consider getting back together with them, they need to make a big major offer and that's what that Ace of Pentacles represents. Right? They may offer to move in together, they may offer this, they may offer that, but it's something big. Right? Then the, the Two of Cups, clarifying the Ace of Pentacles with the Knight of Swords, is the second um, soulmate card we have here on the table. The Six of Cups was the first one and the, the Two of Cups is the second one, right? Um, the Two of Cups features two people in it, right? <laughs> Aquarius, you see, you, you know what I'm, you know what I mean, right? It's uh, also a soulmate card. It's a card of unconditional love. It's a card of uh, two people feeling the same way towards one another. The star on the bottom of the deck is your major arcana card, Aquarius, unless you're dealing with another Aquarius. And uh, it's always a good sign to have your major arcana card in your own reading. That means you're the one in charge. You're the one calling the shots. And, um, yeah, I think you're going to give this person a second chance. Something is making me feel that. <laughs> All right? Cool. Let's talk about your work, your business, and your finances. Aquarius, this week we have the Ten of Wands, we have the Seven of Wands, we have the Fool, clarified by the Queen of Swords, and we also have the Five of Swords on the bottom of the deck. It's a very specific message, Aquarius. The uh, Aquarius I'm connecting with right now, it's like you are not having it anymore this week. And for some of you, you could be thinking about quitting your job or walking away from a particular business partner if you run your own business. You could be walking away from a vendor or you could just be saying no to someone. You know, we all, most of us uh, have people at work that come over and say, can you do me a favor? Can you please do this? And uh, you constantly say yes, yes, yes. And this week you're going to finally say no. Okay, yep, that's what it looks like. For some of you, like I said, you're saying no to that particular individual or others of you are quitting your job or thinking about quitting your job. You're, saying, at, least, you're, you're at least setting boundaries. You're re releasing yourself from something. Right, and what you're releasing yourself is the Ten of Wands, the first card I came out. This is a card of a burden, this is a card of responsibilities, it's a card of you carrying all those wands, right? Uh, well, hypothetically speaking, this is you, um, you know, carrying this company. <laughs> or perhaps everybody just keeps on uh, adding on, on, your, on your task list. Or there's, there could be one particular individual. Or this job you realize is just not worth it. You know, per perhaps you realize that you could be making a lot more money for the same amount of work you do. Or you could be making more money and not <laughs> do as much work. Right? So yeah, this week uh, you're saying no more. The seven of ones, the next card I came out, this is you fighting somebody off, this is you standing your ground, this is you establishing boundaries, this is you, you know, setting your own rules. And for some of you, like I said, you could be either doing that to a particular person, uh, or a couple of people, or others of you, you're just walking away. The five of swords on the bottom of the deck, for some of you, this is you slamming the door on the way out, for others of you, um, if somebody comes over and says, can you do me this favor, you're going to say, you know what, no. And uh, yeah, they're not going to like it. They're not going to like it. There could be um, a moment where the two of you do not get on the same page. Well, i got to be honest with you. The Five of Swords is a card of a fight. Uh, it's a card of, it's an ugly uh, fight card. Or this is when somebody slams the door into another person's face, right? Or somebody slams the door on the way out. i got to be honest with you. So it could be. 
what's what actually happens after that and uh, the fool clarified by the queen of swords this is you liberating yourself in this case the fool this is you detaching yourself from those people or that company or some of the responsibilities that you weren't even supposed to do to begin with yeah and you're feeling good about it the queen of swords clarifying the fool that's you aquarius all right so yeah this week you're taking matters into your own hands you're staying your ground um, you are saying no to people who take advantage of you. Um, for others of you, like I said, it could be as extreme as you thinking about quitting your job. Alright? Cool. Let's see what you're not expecting to happen, um, Aquarius, this week. We have the Five of Pentacles, clarified by the Four of Swords. We have the Eight of Swords, clarified by the Page of Wands and the Knight of Pentacles, we have the High Priestess, and we have the Sun on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or a Leo. Um, this is a very particular spread, <laughs> Aquarius. Um, um, I think I'm connecting to those of you who perhaps are either unemployed right now, or you could use some extra cash, and uh, you're kind of depressed about your financial situation overall, right? So what you're not expecting is an offer. Right, the job offer or perhaps money you were not expecting, perhaps some of you filed for government assistance and you thought they would never give it to you, right? Or you filed for something else. Well what I'm saying is there's definitely an unexpected financial offer coming your way or money coming your way. Right? So yeah, the five of pentacles, the first guy that came out, is clarified by the um Four of Swords, that's the way you could be feeling right now. You feel left out in the cold, you feel like your financial uh, financial situation is not at, at its best, and that is taking a toll on you. With the Four of Swords, clarifying that Five of Pentacles, this is you kind of, you know, feeling sad about it, I guess, even, even a little bit depressed. We have the Eight of Swords, the next card over, and that's also you who is overthinking, who is constantly thinking about what's going on with your financial situation. Right then, here comes this message, or here comes a check in the mail, here comes a wire transfer, or an electronic transfer. The Eight of Swords is clarified by the Page of Wands and uh, the Knight of Pentacles. The Page of Wands could be a, a message, a letter, or electronic transfer, or somebody's going to call you. Right, um, and uh, what this is all about is the Knight of Pentacles. The Knight of Pentacles is a very decent chunk of change, right? The Knight of Pentacles is a check in the mail or a job offer or assistance of some kind. And uh, the High Priestess right next to the deck is a card of something hidden, so that's what you're not expecting, hence the name of the spread. And the Sun on the bottom of the deck is a card of clarity, and it's the happiest card in the deck. This card always talks about joy, success, happiness, feeling on top of the world. So what you're not expecting is um, your financial situation to improve if uh, you're experiencing some financial difficulties right now. Alright, Aquarius, so yes, that's what I have for you for this reading for this week. If this video resonates with you, please like it. Please also share and subscribe. And uh, other than that, Aquarius, have an amazing week.